Hi there, happy Friday and happy new year. So um, today I wanted to come on and talk with you about a book that I've been reading and I've not finished reading it, I've just started it and this is back to front, I know it's called The Not So Big Remodeling by Sarah Suzanka and Mark Vasallo or Vasallo, I don't know how you pronounce it. Um, and it's a book um, which she's, Sarah Suzanka has written quite a lot of books and all, all starting with not so big and I came across her when I was doing some research for the book that I'm currently writing. I was looking at what other books would be possibly likely to be sitting along my book on the bookshelf in the sort of home design book um, category. And this one was one of those books um, that I came across that I thought, yeah, this sounds really interesting. It seems very related to what I'm writing about. And so I thought I'd get, get it and read it. And it is actually really brilliant. It has a lot of um, similar kind of ideas to, to mine where she's promoting this idea where you don't have to build huge you have it's much better you'll get a much better home from building better quality spaces rather than huge spaces and you can then do that better within your budget you can do that better from a sustainability point of view and you can create more beautiful spaces spaces that you're going to enjoy a lot more so it's really her books are really interesting um my book is going to be much more about how to assess and analyze um, your lifestyle and what you need and want um, so it's a sort of a a book where this this book would be the book that i would recommend reading after the book that i'm in the process of reading um because this is a brilliant um guide to helping you actually start to assess your design and decide on your design work whereas the book that I'm writing is more about how to make the decisions how to make do the assessments of your lifestyle and, and make those decisions before you even start to design so I really um, have liked this book a lot and there are a few things that in here that I thought it'd be fun to pick out so there's one idea is that she's got of um, she talks about improving the way that your home looks from outside and suggest that if you um it's it's written it, it's an american book so a lot of the um the terminology is american it's not it you have to translate that from for, from a british point of view we don't use the same terminology in architecture and, and construction here or certainly not for everything um so she talks about storm windows and um things that we don't have but one one thing she suggests is that you basically she talks about painting painting the 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 frames of your windows on the outside a different color and it's and she calls this the lipstick effect where if you haven't got a huge budget and there's not a lot you can do to improve the look of your home from outside you can use a bit of paint to lift it give it a bit of definition and change the aesthetics that way so i think that's a really good simple tip that she's got in here and another really lovely idea that um yeah i I've, i'd like to incorporate in some of my designs for for um my clients who have children is to create child caves so she said that um some of the little bits of leftover space that you have in your home that could be used as storage could also have a um be used for a child cave and she said that when she designs a child cave she likes to work directly with the child who's going to use it and once she worked with a little five-year-old girl and she said that she wanted a secret room with a green door a round top and a diamond window in it and i just think that's so lovely um you know i i really um promote the idea of of collaborating in your design work and especially incorporate including every everybody as much as possible so whether that's your 
obviously yourself, your partner, your um, children, maybe your next door neighbours, and including people to to an extent, to as much as it's appropriate, but designing a space for a child, I think it's really good idea to include the child in those design design making decisions where you can. And I think the idea of a child cave is just such a lovely one. And so I just wanted to share that with you, this, this book, I really recommend it. And um, it's called Not So Big Remodeling and it's about tailoring your home for the way you really live, written by Sarah Suzanka. And she's written a lot of other books that also start with not so big. Um, but this one I think is the most, certainly the most appropriate one and the most helpful one for anybody who's looking at remodeling an existing building. I hope that's been useful, exciting, interesting. Um, please leave comments below if you've got any more questions or if you've got any um, any book tips, any home design books that you have read that you would really recommend. I'd love to know um, what you've read, what you thought about it, and, and if you'd recommend it, or maybe if you wouldn't recommend it, and why not? I'd love to know your thoughts about home design books in the comments below. And I look forward to speaking with you again next week. Bye for now.